Now, uh, let's see this question. In how many ways can nine examination papers be arranged so that the best and the first papers are never together? Uh, friends, in this case, um, the best paper is already fixed and the first paper is already fixed. We don't have to choose them, right? So, remaining papers are seven papers, right? Now, what is happening over here? Uh, we don't want the best and the worst paper to be together. So, what is the approach to the problem? Just listen to me carefully. First of all, I just take the entire arrangement, right? Nine examination papers can be arranged in nine factorial ways. These are the total cases, right? Now, what I do? Uh, since I have to fi find best and worst paper not to be together, first of all, I just find them to be together, right? That means it is best and it is worst and the, these are the seven others. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I treat this as one, right? I am just calculating the cases when they are always together, right? So, this is one. Then, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, eight papers are there and eight papers can be arranged in eight factorial ways and these two can be rearranged in two factorial ways face right so in all when best and the worst paper are together we have eight factorial into two factorial cases these are the total cases now these are the cases when they are always together so in the remaining cases they will never be together right the approach is like reverse right these are the total cases these are the cases when both of them are together so in the remaining cases they will never be together right so you can calculate that otherwise in options um, bright chances are there that uh, the options will be in this format if you are appearing for any competitive exam if not you can solve it 9 factorial can be done as 9 into 8 factorial minus 8 factorial into 2 so 8 factorial can be taken as common then it is 9 into uh, sorry 9 minus 2 that is 7 so your answer will be uh, may be presented in this manner also okay so do not get confused you may be answer is in this format or it is in this format or maybe it is finally calculated right so you have to choose or you have to uh, like uh, proceed accordingly right let's take the next question now friends let's take this problem a code word is to consist of two distinct English alphabets followed by two distinct numbers from 1 to 9. For example, CA23 is a code word, right? How many such code words are there? How many of them and with an even integer? So, we are uh, having two problems in fact. And uh, let's proceed. 1, 2, 3, 4. These two places are fixed for the alphabets and these two places are fixed for the numbers, right? Because uh, at the first two places, numbers cannot be, right? Two distinct, it's distinct English alphabets followed by two distinct numbers, right? So, first two places are for English alphabets, right? Now, how many alphabets do we have? It's 26. And uh, the other condition is that the two alphabets should be distinct. So, for the first place, we are having 26 choices right for the second place we do not have uh, 26 choices because the letters to be distinct the letters should be distinct so now i am left with 25 letters so for the second place i have 25 choices right now it's over here i have to fill up the numbers and uh, numbers are available from 1 to 9 that means i have nine options for the first place now, even the number should not be repeated. So, for the second place or for the next place or last place, I have 8 choices, right? So, your answer is 26 into 25 into 9 into 8, right? Now, you just multiply them and get the actual answer. So, it's 25, uh, 8s are 200, 200 into 9 is 1800 into 20. 6 so it is 4 6 8 double zero right now the next case is how many of them end with an even integer right now 
uh, let's discuss uh, how many of them end with an even integers right in all these are the total number total number of codes now we have to find out how many of them them are uh, ending with an even integer right so further we have four places now here 26 choices 25 choices uh, friends good number of students make the mistake they just write 9 over here and instead of 8 they write 4 over here but that will be a mistake because in that case a number will be repeated right so uh, we have restriction on the units place that the number should be even right so we have four even numbers from 1 to 9 that is 2 4 6 8 so for this place we have four choices right so we have filled up the four any of number now we are left with eight numbers so for this place we have eight choices right we'll fill up this place first because we have restriction for this place that this place should be filled up by an even number so an even number is filled up now we are left with eight choices so it's now the answer right so if you calculate that it's 25 into 8 200 into 4 800 so it's 26 into 800 that is 13 into 2 into 800 so 1600 into 13 that is 20800 right okay so we discussed both the cases and uh, we have to be very careful in case of permutation and combination because if you are appearing for any competitive exam what happens whatever you have thought of like whatever calculations you are doing you will be getting an option for that and if you are not conceptually clear you will be ending up with marking uh, like a wrong answer right and that would lead to a negative marking right so be very very clear and conceptually clear uh, in the case of permutation and combination right let's take next problem